what will you get by doing this is the question that a lot of people asked me when I started my journey fairly young. You can guess what young is today. And today as I stand here, the question people ask me is that, how did you get to this? That's the story I'm here to tell that how did I get to this? Being an alumni at Ashoka, studying in this very own institute, and today speaking to all of you. But let me start by playing a game of word association with you all. How many of y'all really know what networking means, if I can get a show of hands? Wow. It seriously means that I need to really prep you up with what it means and how can you benefit from it. I was a very, very shy kid. I never thought I could be able to speak to people, forget about addressing them on a topic. All I had as best friends were my books and my solitude. Now, you might be thinking, how did I really convert this shyness into me being somebody who is a well-networked businesswoman? Well, the answer is in one word, and that is shamelessness. <laughs> I'll tell you, how did I pay for this shamelessness? Well, yeah, there's a cost that comes with everything in life. The cost was a lot of rejections, a ton of embarrassing moments in front of senior people when I went to them to present my idea as an 18-year-old when I started out. Let me start by addressing of how I turned my rejections into a powerful tool of network where people now come and tell me that can you connect me to this person? And these people, by the way, are the same ones who once told me that I don't think so you're worth of joining my company. Five years back, in 2018, I remember I just graduated from Ashoka. It was time for me to come to Bombay. And I barely knew any people there in Bombay. I had zero network. Right from the zero, right from the scratch, I started. I remember that I used to be one shy kid in the class, sitting, talking to no one, absolutely no one. And my friends would tell me that, how do you think you will survive in a city like Bombay, which is full of hustle and bustle? And I had no words to tell them, absolutely nothing. I was in a lot of self-doubt. I really didn't know how will I be able to build a name for myself and create a space within my own class. I was attending an entrepreneurship boot camp in 2018. And this boot camp was supported by teenage students, just 13, 14 year olds. When I went and when I heard their business ideas, I thought to myself that what am I doing with my life? I mean, here are the 14 year olds knowing what to do in future, having an idea, to make money out of that business plan. And here I was absolutely clueless about what I want to do of my life. While going back to my home, I was absolutely in tears. I thought to myself that I am not worthy of anything. Nothing can really save me. And that was the day when I decided to actually shift back to Nasik, my hometown, and really go to my parents and take a break for some time. But I want to tell you how miracles come into your life. My friend, he was there with me when I was going back home. He saw me crying and he told me one thing. That, have you heard of this platform called LinkedIn? Let me ask you, how many of you have heard of the platform LinkedIn here? I'm glad that many of you already have, so I don't have to explain what LinkedIn is. But I'm glad that you know what LinkedIn is. I didn't know what LinkedIn was when I was 18 and when he asked me that question. He told me, don't worry, I'll explain you what it exactly means and how you can exactly start your journey on LinkedIn and build a network there. Forget about all that has happened to you in the past, all the doubts that you've had, just 
kill them all and start right here, right now. I opened my LinkedIn account that very day itself. I still remember the date, by the way. It was 2nd July 2018. And I was absolutely clueless. Next step would be what? It took me six months, six months of self-conviction to write my first post on LinkedIn. And you might be thinking, how did I take so long? And finally, after six months, how did I get the courage to start? You know, there are times in life when one thinks to themselves that enough is enough. I need to get up, get up, and get started. And that's what happened to me while I was sitting in the library of my college, full of CAs and CFAs and comma students. And here I was making my post on LinkedIn, which was, by the way, you won't guess the topic, it was on a philosophical topic on sun, moon, and stars. Not in astrophysics, not at all, but something to do with gyan, which we call randomly, because when we don't know anything, all we give is our own gyan, and that's what I did. Guess what? It just got three likes. And guess the time I took to write that post? It was three hours. Guess the word count the post was? Barely 30 words. And I was disheartened. I was like, if this is what LinkedIn is offering me, why should I even write? But then I had one option. Either I could view the glass as half empty or half full. And that's where I started to think optimistically and I was like, okay, at least three people have given me the time, attention and energy to view my post, which made no sense at that time. And when I look back at that post, I laugh. I laugh with my friends, my colleagues, and I think that what was this that I'd written? But you know what was behind that laugh? Was that innocent child in me when I just started out who was proud of herself, or at least starting out, because today, from just the, that three likes, I have reached a following of two lakh people on LinkedIn. Not just this, the opportunities that that network on LinkedIn has opened up for me has been immense. I cannot even begin to start how it has helped me. But one incident that has really struck to my mind when I think of my journey on LinkedIn is when the managing editor of LinkedIn in India, he randomly called me up and he's like, we want to nominate you for being one of India's top voices on LinkedIn. I was like, is this a spam call? Or are you like trying to do a dare that is told to you by a friend to call me and tell me about this? And then he was like, no, I am actually the managing director of India. I was like, okay. And then he, he told me that, please help me with your email ID. I will send you the email and please fill up the nomination form. We'll get back to you if you're shortlisted. Which I did, it was lockdown. This happened in November 2020. And then in January 2021, I get an email which read just as this, that congratulations, you're selected as India's youngest LinkedIn top voices. I really couldn't fathom the idea that I could be on that list because my peers on that list were all CEOs, CXOs, and founders of top companies, which led me to ask this question to the same managing director that, why did you think I was a suitable fit in this list? Again, that self-doubt that I started my journey from, it again came here. And he told me only one thing, no, no explanations in big paragraphs, just one thing. He's like, Radhika, the consistency with which you write quality posts is what attracted to us. And that's where I realized this power of doing the same and same thing every single day, no matter how bored I was to write the, that post on a daily basis, no matter how much time did it take for me, no matter how my mood was, I still showed up on LinkedIn writing every day for five years. And that, of course, has made me 
stand where I am today, coming back to my college where I studied and didn't know what LinkedIn was back then. I got a message from this young partner in a law firm called Nishit Desai Associates. He wrote to me on LinkedIn saying that I'm starting a new law firm. Would you want to join us? Firstly, I again thought that this is some joke. Why are people trying to do this to me? Because I had no experience. I was just a fresh graduate out of my college in Bombay. I thought to myself that, you know what? It just locked down. Let's take a leap of faith. What's going to go wrong? I was just 20 back then. I told him one thing, though, that I've not even done finance. I've studied marketing. How do you see me working in a law firm? And the answer he told me was, when two smart people come together, they create wonders. I told myself that I don't know about me. I, of course, know that you are smart. But I will try to be smart with you. And then that's how my journey at law firm started out of nowhere. Of course, I did manifest to work in a super intellectual environment because I was not getting a job at all during the lockdown. And you might be thinking that how can a LinkedIn influencer with more than 2 lakh followers be jobless when she wants a job? But this is how reality is. That's where I thought to myself, whatever I've gotten, I will embrace it and I will make the full use of it. My friends who, who were graduated, who were getting lakhs of salaries in companies like Goldman, JP Morgan, Deloitte, here I was interning just for a month without any certainty at the law firm, just making 10,000 rupees as a stipend. And today, the same law firm where I interned is an investor in my company and have given me crores of rupees. So that's what I want to address, that your network is not just the network that you build with people around you, but also the network that you build within yourself, knowing what you want and the purpose that you want to define for yourself. This is one statement I told myself, and this is the change what I saw. I will tell you one more story to put things in perspective so that your definition of network gets stronger. And the next time I ask you if you know what networking means, I see more show of hands. One day, a founder approached the law firm and said that, you know what, I want to raise money for my business. And I'm looking at Silicon Valley investors in the US. Can you connect me? Of course, at the law firm, we do much larger deals. So this was out of our spectrum. But the partner, who is my mentor now, he told me that, Radhika, you write on topics in the startup ecosystem. You have a network on LinkedIn. Why don't you try and connect this person to somebody in the US? Again, I laughed. I'm like, I haven't done investment banking ever in my life. I am just 22. How do you expect people to write back to me for this? But you will be surprised to hear this, and I was also surprised when I saw that eight out of 10 people whom I'd reached out to without they knowing me and I knowing them, they replied to me saying that I would like to connect with this founder. Can you facilitate that? And this was not just it. The result was the founder actually ended up getting funding of crores of rupees, which is millions of dollars in the US, from the same Silicon Valley investor who responded to me and who actually told me that, yeah, I want to connect with this founder. So this is the power of networking. And this is the power that I could instill into his life. And one word that he told me was that, Radhika, you connect, connected me to investors who my own investment banker sitting here in India, whom I'm paying lakhs of fees, he couldn't do it. You could do something like this just for free of cost. And here today I am sitting with this funding in my hand. So this is the kind of impact that I created in his life, which meant success for me at the end of the day. And this was the day when I didn't feel empty with my followers, but I feel felt satisfied that, OK, this is the way I could use my voice, influence, and power on LinkedIn to get this guy funding. I want to end this by leaving 
everybody with this thought that no matter who tells you that you know what will you get by connecting with people don't tell them anything just smile and wait for them to ask you after some years that how did you get this thank you